What's up, guys? I'm here with Chris Majestic, another one of our judges who also partook in last year's Laser TV Showdown. And for those of you not familiar with Chris, he is a very well-known and highly regarded technology reviewer and blogger on YouTube. His channel is Chris Majestic. Like and subscribe it, <laughs> as his shirt says. And uh, he is very well experienced with projection technology and ultra short throws. Has done many reviews of the products that were in last year's contest. Has probably done some that are in this year, and mm -hmm. he probably has boxes of other ones that he hasn't <laughs> yet got to. You know that he had a chance to experience here in full time. So we really appreciate you coming out yeah, again. Sure. You're know, one of my favorite YouTubers. Thanks. You know, make sure if you subscribe to his channel, you also subscribe <laughs> to mine. Yep. I've only got a couple people, but anyway, <laughs> um, one of the things that you know I I hope that you find value with at this event is you know as Chris does his own reviews at home, you know he's doing them kind of like individually, and I think right. one of the things that we've discussed previously is that the um, the arena in which these things are competing, having them all at the same time really gives you like a whole different type of perspective. Mm -hmm. And I know for me personally is that like, I can look at every single one of the items that were in that room by itself and be like, that projector is awesome. Right. However, when I see it next to all of the other items in that room, um, my opinions may change. And something that I may have thought in its own bubble was the best, now is no longer in my mind the best after I've seen it next to many other things that are better in some regards, worse in some other regards. So anyway, this is supposed to be an interview, not just me flattering. <laughs> so Chris, you know, do you have any thoughts about what you, the event overall, some of the experience that you've had? You're welcome to share yeah. any thoughts you have about particular items. We're not really prying for that. Obviously yeah. all of the, the votes are private, but you know, Chris has an opinion and his opinion <laughs> is, is wanted, you know, so uh, give you an opportunity to share it here. Yeah. Um, I think it's a fantastic event, just like I said last year. And it's interesting how you were able to iron out some of the kinks that we've had, like technical issues and stuff like that, which is inevitable. You got 10 projectors or eight projectors in a room. You guys did a fantastic job with that, getting everything right. Um, and it's a very interesting event in that you don't get this anywhere else. Just like I told you last year, like you're having 10 projectors in a room and you're thinking like, okay, what, who cares? Like there's just 10 projectors in a room. But the thing is, when you're normally like most of us here, we're used to looking at one projector in a vacuum, right? You look at one projector, you know going in, you have certain expectations about it. And you probably are biased thinking like, okay, this is probably gonna be a good projector because it's from X company. And you probably go through your review that way or whatever you're doing, just looking at it in your house. And it's gonna look good by itself generally. Most of these aren't horrible projectors. But when you sit it next to a bunch of other projectors, especially ones that you may not know exist or you may have never heard of or you have certain expectations about, and you're sitting next to them and it's like objectively, when you get everybody's thoughts together, like that's better. And you would have never been able to put yourself in that situation where you would have saw that projector at all, let alone tried to rank it among other ones. So it gives you this unique perspective that you don't get anywhere else. You go to trade shows and stuff like that. Most of the time, the room isn't even ideal for you to do something like this. All the other logistics involved, I think it's a really unique thing that you have put together here. And I love it. That's why I was like, I gotta be there next time you do this. That, yeah, much. man, you guys do a great job. And I think it's 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 definitely a unique thing that it's I think it's gonna continue to grow. It's fantastic. I certainly hope so. And obviously, you know, we appreciate the time that you've come out here and, and the insight that you bring. And you know, what I was kind of just like a fly on the wall, right? So I tried to stay out of it, but you know, I wanted to see some of the testing that they've got going on. And one of the things I thought was really interesting is like there was like moments of like, ooh. Ah, you know, like <laughs> surprise, you know, yeah. where certain products that, you know, may not have looked great on a, one of the previous tests that Rob had set forth, all of a sudden looked amazing, right? Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll spill the beans, you know, we just talked about it with Mark, but like Eps, the Epson LS800 was one of them where, you know, it was underwhelming in some areas and then all of a sudden right. the test and the content that went on there played to its strength as far as brightness goes and it was like, oh my goodness, this is, this went from, you know... Man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it's a thing. And I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, none of these are perfect for every situation, which is why I like the fact that you guys break it down into different categories, because otherwise you're like, okay, just do it in a dark room. What does it get? Because that's what you do with most projectors, right? Especially a home theater projector. You're going to put it in a dark room. You're going to see what it looks like, and that's it. These ultra short throws or laser projectors, if you will, 
they're a unique situation where a lot of them are considered TV replacements. So you can't just put it in a dark room and say, how does it look? Because most people aren't using it that way. They're putting it in a bright room, even though most of the guys here would never do that, right? We've done it, well, but it's like, second room. yeah, exactly. <laughs> you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't just buy it just to put in a dark room. Most cases you can, it has the flexibility for you to do that, but most people wouldn't. So it's like, okay, well, let's look at it in both scenarios. And a lot of the people here may not have ever even seen that before. So like, you know, for you to put it in a situation like, all right, turn off the brightness of the lights and whatever, let's see what it looks like. Put it in this mode, like, oh, wow, it actually looks really good. So it's like, okay, it was weak here or it was just mediocre here, but it looks fantastic there or vice versa. Like, it's, it's just a unique thing. And that's why I'm saying like this event, the way you guys put it together for us to be able to do both scenarios. And I mean, among all the other things that we've done and the testing that I've never done anywhere else, again, on top of having it all next to a bunch of other ones for you to be able to compare it to makes a huge difference. And I think all of us were surprised by the results, which it says a lot to the event, right? Because you're not going in like with your mindset, this is gonna be the best and that's it. And you walk away saying it is. No, you generally walk away saying something you didn't think was the best is. And you don't have a choice but to be like, well, the numbers speak for themselves, how I feel speaks for itself. Like it, it's, yeah, I don't even, <laughs> it's just interesting. It's awesome, I love it. Cool, I'm so glad you were enthused by it. Um, I don't know if you want to take any time and share any of your thoughts about any of the products in there, or you want to leave for the big unveiling, or you don't, <laughs> you don't want to upset anyone, or you know anything like that. Um, I, I don't want to give anything uh, away. Cool. Um, okay. I, I think it was, uh, every, like I said, I'll say everybody was surprised by the results, and it was uncontested. Like, we were all kind of talking about it at the end, like, everybody knows what's number one, right? And they're like, yeah. Like, it wasn't even up for debate. You know, and it's interesting because, like, People might think we were like people might think it's a conspiracy or something like that, but there it's not. It's, <laughs> there might be, but I might, dude. I can tell you as one of the judges, I can tell everybody that's watching this, whoever's going to see this. Nobody was the results weren't massaged. Nobody was persuaded into anything. We just liked what we liked, and we all kind of talked at the end and just now about the results and like what we saw, and we were like, oh, I think this was that. I think that was that too. And we kind of talked about it, and we all kind of came to the same general consensus. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to be persuaded, you know what I mean? We can have conversations about stuff. But I think that the way that the event was held mixed with the type of people that we have here made it work because we're all professionals, right? We all, we're not, none of us work for any of these companies. We don't have any vested interest in to say one is better than the other. There's no reason to. So it's just like, okay, let's be subjective and see which one is better. Frankly, you have a disincentive too because especially some of the people that work, uh, I'm not saying you particularly, but some of the ones that work for editorial entities mm -hmm. that get advertising money. Right? Yes. So as an example, without naming names, you know, we are a large dealer of a, of a brand that did not do well last year. Um, and they were also big advertisers on Projector Central. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So, you know, some people are less than excited about the results of the event. And that could actually have an impact on a business relationship that, you know, both, right. you know, myself, Projector Central or any of these other judges who's. Uh, employer receives advertising money yeah. from those. So it sometimes it's a little bit of a precarious position. I can respect that you don't want to, yeah. you know, air your particular opinion out to the public right here. But, um, you know, based off of what you said, I think probably when the results are published, you know, people are going to be able to draw the conclusion on, you know, how you felt. I just want people to know that it's not, it's unbiased. That, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Whether you agree with the results or not, this is what everybody, all of us came up with. And again, we weren't persuaded in any way because that's what the thing people never want to believe, right? When they don't believe the results, the first thing they start doing is questioning the testing methods or who's involved or whatever. We're not doing any of that here. So um, I just came here because I wanted to be here and have fun and do this because I think it's an awesome event. And I appreciate you inviting me here to do this. Oh, heck yeah, and I, I had a fantastic time. I can't wait for the next well, one. Well, so it was Projector Central decided yeah. to invite Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, yeah know, Projector Central. I certainly yeah. suggested Chris comes back again because he was such a great judge last yeah. year. And, you know, and um, the other thing I want to mention too about the products that were in here is you talk about like persuasion and you know, we kind of insinuated about like influence and stuff is the products that we used in this event, every single one of them, except for the Thoral Tamiya, which isn't commercially available yet, was a sealed packaged retail unit that either came from my inventory or we purchased from another dealer or we purchased off of Amazon if I don't sell that product or mm -hmm. I don't have it yet. So it's also kind of unique in the fact that these packages were delivered sealed to the calibrator Sammy, who did his thing, delivered back sealed, untouched until Rob and Sammy sent all that type of stuff up. And you know, as a reviewer who often gets samples from manufacturers to review, mm -hmm. you know, 
you may have a product in your possession that is not necessarily representative mm -hmm. of what a consumer may buy if they were to place that order right. today. And that was one of the things that we did differently this year than last year is to ensure that retail sealed stock units were used whenever available, right. except in the caveat when there is not one available. Um, and that and Rob decided that particular projector was special enough or interesting enough, like right. the Thoral, to me, uh, you know, to be included in the event. Yeah, and I think that said that speaks a lot to due diligence, like you said, just trying to make it as unbiased as possible, trying to make it like the same as an experience of an end user, like if they were to buy it. That way, it's not like oh, well, you got this special one. Like, and, and again, that just takes all that out of the equation. Like, we're not trying to do that. We're just trying to make this fair, and I think you guys did a great job with that. So I really appreciate it. And if Chris saw anything in that room that he really likes and wants to review for himself, I will certainly lend it to you, uh, which may mean he has a pile of boxes sitting in his basement to get to review. I already got a pile of stuff it's in the basement. Awesome, well, Chris, thanks yeah, again, man. Thanks for inviting me. I'll let you go back and enjoy your lunch. Sorry for disturbing you. No, and good. perhaps we'll sit down again after the lifestyle competition yeah. if you're not totally fatigued and ready to get the heck out of here. Hey, I'll be fine. Awesome. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks again. Thanks.